Anyways, let's get to some real entertainment here. It's my boy. This is Bossman Jack time. So, Bossman, let me preload these clips actually. Uh, Bossman has been up for approximately 96 hours straight. <clears throat> and, um, sorry, I didn't mean to clear my throat to the mic. And, uh, he's on high on crack. He's he's so high on crack, and I featured this, and now Keemstar is trying to rope him into the LOLCAL podcast, but I think he, he has too much dignity to do that, because showing up on a LOLCAL podcast implies that you're a LOLCAL. I don't think he accepts that title. But uh, he's high on crack, and he's been gambling for 96 hours. He won $30,000, and supposedly he has bought a bong, and he has bought like half an ounce of gold. So he has a $600 bong and a half ounce of gold in the mail. But I think that the main thing he bought is a ton of crack. He has a ton of crack in the, that he's been, that he's been uh, consuming heavily. And uh, so he's been up for 96 hours. And then while high on crack, he uh, deleted his Discord in a fit of rage, banned all his mods, I think, except for Pika, the training for whatever fucking reason. And uh, then gambled the rest of his money. I said the half, half ounce of gold. He said he had bought like a thousand dollar gold coin, um, which would be a half ounce of gold. I'm pretty sure. Um, so that that's his situation. Pika's gone. No way. No way that Pika's gone. Oh, is, is he the? Is that the tranny that catfished him? He was complaining like really vague posting about being catfished by a tranny. Um, is he the, is that the tranny that he was talking about? Dudes, someone, oh my God, that's crazy. I didn't even know about that. I, he went on stream and, uh, someone in chat was bullying him for getting catfished by a tranny. And, uh, everyone made the joke that it was Pika. I didn't know that it was literally Pika. That was the catfish tranny, but, uh, he was complaining about being catfished or something. He was like crying about it too. Anyways, let's hear him all cracked out gambling. We've got this, man. This is the oh my god. Shit. This is a good shit. This is like my Oh my crack. god. Yeah. Oh I'm, my fucking god, I'm dude. Stop, for some dude. Right now. Stop! Oh my fucking god, dude. Man. The Kiwi Farms is my pipe. The video player that buffers is like the copper wire. And the boss man is the straight crack cocaine. Oh my fucking god, dude! Oh my god, every time I fucking crease it, it's a fucking instant loss. Oh my fucking god, oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god, dude! Dude, stop! Oh my god! Dude, this is so fucking sad! Oh my fucking god. It's gone. He threw it at the curtain. If there was a wall there, it would have been fucking punched through. Thankfully, the curtain took the blow. Watch this one. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll watch this. Um, One of my favorite things is that he depoted in $1,000, gambled it really quickly. Like, he went to Limbo. Limbo is this game that he's playing. I don't know exactly how it works, but he, um, he, presses, the, he presses the button, and I can't tell if it like just randomly picks a number or if he has to like hold it and based on how long he holds it, the number goes up. But, um, it's basically just a coin flip the way he has it set up. It either hits or it doesn't hit. You can see there, it says the win chance is 49.5%. So he presses button coin flip wins or loses his money, double or nothing. Um, and he gambled down from a thousand to zero Redepot in another thousand dollars and then press the gamba button with a thousand dollar bet and instantly lost like just instantly a single bet it's not like he bet one once gambled two more times and lost his first time just lost it was really crazy oh my fucking god it's that Dude, oh it's god. that crack rock uh Dude, he is so cracked out you can you can literally see look at his forehead you can literally see the bulge of blood and tension in his skull as he like as the crack pumps through him and he presses the button oh my fucking god oh my fucking god dude oh my fucking god 
Yeah, he's gambling hundreds because he's he was up thirty thousand dollars. Like what he does is he bet, puts in fifty dollars and he does double or nothing, and most of the time he loses all his money. Sometimes he'll do he'll do it over and over again. He'll bet fifty, bet a hundred, bet two hundred, bet four hundred, bet eight hundred, and he'll do that all the way up to thirty thousand dollars. And it's around that time where he'll uh, like peel off because what he does. Okay, let me explain. When he gets way up. He will take the money out of stake. Stake, for federal le uh, legal reasons, does not allow more than a ten thousand dollar a day depot. So even if he once he takes out twenty thousand dollars, he's like, "This is my money. I'm going to give this to my dad. I'm going to buy a car." He puts that money back in the stake slowly because he loses what he has left, and then he redepots a thousand dollars in the time, and eventually he'll redepot in ten thousand dollars and hit the stake limit. Um, and then he he doesn't he can't gamble. He has two options. He can either redepot into BC Games, which doesn't have the limit, but that's against his state contract. Or he can wait a day. Well, when he's fucking cracked out on um on on that good crispy Krakaruski, uh, he'll just redepot and gamble offline. So the money goes fast regardless. This time, apparently, he bought uh, the bong and a, a gold coin, which is shocking. If that if that shit actually arrives and he keeps it, I would be stunned. Oh my god. There you go. Get that shit back! Get that shit back! Get that shit fucking back, bitch! You gave me my fucking money back. You... Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm doing 750. Come on. Yes! Let's go! Uh, more gamble cows. Okay, so most of the gamble cows aren't interesting. I will show you this. Um, I think I should be able to pull this off. Give me one second. Let me hide this real quick. And hopefully my browser doesn't crash. Oh, my browser has apparently crashed. It sure has. It sure did. It sure crashed. It's like crashing right now. Okay, hold up. Let me just reboot it before it crashes my entire fucking computer. Um, and let me requeue up the boss man. It's sure. He, okay, he's the only good one because he does crack. Uh, that sounds like I'm taking the piss. I'm not, because he's always hyped up. And he has this really positive poly spirit to him where he talks about like his struggles and shit. And then um I'll show you I'll try to show you another Gamba streamer because I've look at I've watched a couple of them and they suck. They like really suck. Okay, Gamba. Slots and casinos. Okay, views high to low. 18 slot store studio ish zihe um. It's in German. We're not going to be able to see that. Okay, this is in English. I'll show you him. This is Classy Beef. I've never seen him before. Or Post Malone writing on the wall? I thought it was Sam Smith you meant. Lee Jones? What up, baby? Dude. What um. up? What up? Sorry, I have to refix my browser. I don't know if I say hi. Okay, here you go. Jones, but hi, Lee. Hi, Lee Jones. So this is uh, the other kind of streamer on. Seven minutes uh, to go, chat on the bets. Seven minutes. So he's, he's just like a professional. So he just gambles like five thousand dollar spins. And he does. He has zero emotional investment. He knows that he's going to lose, but he makes his money through the stake sponsorship and through the the donations. So like he he it's all like a he's he's winning just by this like his entertainment like people are gambling by watching him by proxy, so he doesn't really care about what's happening. Um, the money that he gambles with is basically fake anyways because it's just stake.us shit, and then he keeps all the money that he gets from kick. So that's why he just doesn't care. He's just like this slot might as well be a fucking background. He's not really invested in what's happening. But you, you compare that to fucking Austin, who is like, this next spin might be the one that that gets him out of the the hood and shit. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Being bossman is real. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Right here, right here, this is it. Oh, you can't wow. see it on full screen, but he's he's up to five thousand. So he was almost gone. He's almost empty. But you can see he keeps doubling up his bet. Okay, so get now, back. Come on. He's at five thousand right now. Yeah. He just hit. He just did. Like I said, he doubled, doubled up to fifteen hundred, yeah. and he got Let's that one. Go. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh damn, that's a, oh, that's crispy. God. That crackeruski. Call me the cook. Call me the 
comeback king. Call me it. Call me the comeback king right now. Call me the fucking comeback king. $8,600. $8, I think he Call loses it from bitch. here. Comeback king. Who else can do that? Tell me. Who? I wonder. Who? I think I'm he, I think he loses at this point. I don't see him doing that. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Come on. So he's doing three hundred dollar bets, oh seven hundred. Oh my god, it's one away. He's trying. He's desperate. Oh no, he's desperate to get up to ten thousand. So he just bet fifteen hundred dollars again. On. I want the ten k, dude. What the fuck? He's doing seven hundred. Oh my god. Oh my god. Back under five thousand. You can really hear his jaw. Like you can hear the 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 crack mouth of him like grinding his jaw. Oh you god. see it when he's like oh really focused. God. He's grinding. He's doing the crack jaw oh thing. Oh my god! Oh my god! Come on, dude! Come on, dude! Dude, come on! Oh my god! Dude! Oh my god! Oh wow! Oh my fucking god! Is dude? Oh my fucking god! Stop! Stop it! Yes! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh my god! Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. His dopamine receptors oh are god. completely Come fried. I haven't got this, man. And it's a good thing, too. There's no chance of depravity. He's stuck. Like, there's never going to be the boss man grooming scandal. How can my boy groom? How can he find time oh in his busy day of crack and gamba oh to groom? He's a oh safe bet. God, dude, you think stop, he can, he can show up on a low cow podcast? No. He can't wake up. Oh my fucking god, dude. When he stays up for 96 Man. hours high on crack and sleeps, you think he's going to get up and go to a, oh a podcast? God, dude. Oh my god. Every time I fucking crease it, it's just fucking instant loss. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god, dude. <laughs> dude, stop. Oh my god. Dude, this is so fucking sad. Oh my fucking god. It's gone. Damn. I just fucking lost ten dude. There you go. That's the bossman content. There was a 128 excellent and he just missed. I don't understand. No, that's 1.28. Um, I think. I don't understand how limbo works. It's one of the dumbest games. He plays these what they call originals. And the originals are games that are built directly into stake, and they're just like common Negro gambling games like dice or coin flips and shit, like or a wheel. They're like the dumbest games possible. Um, and for some reason, he really, really loves those and prefers those to real blackjack. I think just because of the speed. Like every time he clicks it, he uh, he gets an instant reaction. Whereas with live blackjack, um, it's much slower. And sometimes the dealers fuck up the uh, the hands. And also, uh, if the dealer is like talking to people or reading chat and replying, she might smile or something. And if the dealer smile, dude, he was so cracked out. Usually he doesn't talk in the chat at all, like because he's just there to gamble. He's not there to chit chat. But um, there was a lady and she was talking to other people in the chat and smiled while dealing hands. Well, he had just lost. And because crack makes you paranoid, he was like so sure that she was laughing at him that he like flipped out at her in chat for, for laughing at him losing his hand or whatever. Um, it was really it was really shocking to see. He's really bad this week on crack, I think because he won that money and he put a lot of it uh, into into drugs, which is a bit disappointing. But yeah. Green means you hit, but I don't know. I don't think you hit 120x. I really don't understand how this fucking this bullshit game works. I wouldn't put money into it. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.